welcome back to Beauty in Forex. This is a channel where we learn how to make money by Forex trading using our phones. And I'm your host, Doreen Guma, as usual, here again with a very exciting video. And today is going to be even more exciting because we've had six episodes of theory and it's time for us to have a practical. So today we are going to be, to be learning how to register with a broker and even how to start trading using MetaTrader 4 and um, how to look at the markets. If this is kind of information you're looking for, can you watch till the end? Guys, I have some good news. My broker is back, that is Templar FX, and that is such a good news for me because this is my best bro broker. I've had, I would say, I've had three other brokers before Templar, and Templar is the best. First of all, because of their leverage. And now, if you're an old Templar user, you just go back to your members area and uh, at the top there there's a point for you to change the the the, the broker normally they were templar effects now they are they are calling themselves templar securities so just change everything else if you had capital there no money is lost if uh, you're a new broker if, sorry if you're a new trader you just come back to you go to your browser and type in www.templarfx.co sorry .com and then you go to the members area or home they are going to be asking you for your details your id number your copy of the front and back page of your id and even your utility bill and then they're going to give you 24 hours for verification upon verification they send you an email with their login details for metatrader form which is or which is which you have already downloaded from the play store so this is how metatrader 4 looks let it go live here yeah, there we go then you can see that there's the red and blue the, the market is just running and the spread keeps changing depending on how the market is i hope you can see these guys this is the markets that there are i'm going to be doing a video i think next week's video is going to be talking about the most traded pairs which trade which pairs you're supposed to be trading mostly and why because they're more liquid and how to look at them even their spread and all that now uh, let's assume you've already been verified by templar effect and uh, you want now to start trading you're going to come to metatrader 4 with the login details templar is going to be giving you and then now you can begin trading so we said we are being practical today on the, all the theory we've learned and because you are going to be learning how to trade, let's begin with the first things first, the most important things, which is the leverage. I know I've, 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 I've insisted on the leverage a lot of times now, but let me just do this for the last time because it's very important. Leverage is very, this is the foundation of Forex. If you do not understand this, you will not know how to manage your risk and that is a, a tragedy by itself. So with leverage, like with my broker, which already said is Templar effects, my broker gives you a maximum of one is to two thousand, which this what that means is for every one unit of currency you give you have from your capital, they give you two thousand units of currency from theirs. Yeah, so this gives us a bigger capacity to trade with, which translates to more profits, which could also be more losses. But let's focus on the profit. So, for every one shilling. For every one unit of currency I give my broker, they give me 2,000 units of theirs. Now, there are four types of uh, stand of lot sizes that are, are there in the Forex market. The first one is standard lot, which is the biggest, and then there is macro lot, there is micro lot, and nano lot. Nano lot is the least, and we are not going to be focusing on that, because that gives us the least of of profits, and you're here to make money. Yeah, so for the standard lot, it means you're trading a hundred thousand units per pair. For the macro lot, means you're trading ten thousand units per pair. Micro lot, you trading a thousand units per pair. For the nano, it's a hundred units per pair. So with the standard one, which is a hundred units, a hundred thousand units per pair, that translates to ten point zero. For the macro, it's one point zero. For the micro, it's zero point one, and for the nano, it's zero point zero one. Yeah. So if you are trading 50 pips, for example, in this one pair, let's say Euro USD, we are trading 50 pips for today. Now, if we are we were trading with the standard lot, it means for 50 pips trading with 10.0, it gives us 5,000 per pip. For the macro, if we are trading 50 pips and that is 1.0, it gives us 500 units of currency per pip. For the micro, with 0 0.1, it gives us 50 uh, units of currency per pip. 
and for the nano it's five shillings it's five units of currency sorry per pip so you see the more you can we can be having the same amount of pips we go with per day but we have different types of profits which depends on the hot lot size you're using and also how much capital you have because if you have a thousand dollars in your account as capital you can use the standard lot but if you have one dollar which is almost not possible if you have one dollar in your account then you cannot use the standard lot so also the more the capital you have the larger the lot size you can use and that translates to how much profit you can make let's assume you you are a trader already and you've just gotten into templar fx so you'll come to the or the you'll come to the platform for Templar FX on your browser, and then you're going to put in your information. Mine is already loaded into the system, so uh, tell them that I'm not a robot just for security purposes, and then submit. Um, they are going to send you a pin code on your email, and I'm waiting for mine. I think it's already here, so I'm going to put it in. Uh, yeah, as they verify, yes, so here we are. I'm just going to come to my account and come to the now assuming i want to deposit to metatrader for capital so that i can begin trading i'll come to finance yeah with finance it's deposits because mm -hmm. and even if i was trying to withdraw that is how i will have done it. come to finance and then choose withdraw i will come to select this is my live account 12339 that is what i'm going to link uh what am i paying with i'm in kenya so i'm going to be paying with I'm looking for I pay Africa so that I can pay with M-Pesa. That is what I love about these guys. There is M-Pesa Kenya. M-Pesa Kenya, here you go. Now, the amount I put here is in terms of dollars. And I want to put in um, $1,000 for my capital. So just come here and put $1,000. Yeah. And then they can give me bonuses or not. Normally, I don't want their bonus. So I'm going to be putting 108,169. The 8,169 on top is what the broker has. That is their commission. So they are going to be depositing 100,000 in my account, but they cut 108 for my investor. So I'll come to deposit. They're going to bring me to the investor. So they're going to be bringing me the M-Pesa interface for me to read, for me to put in my pin and then the money can go into into MetaTrader 4. So that is what I'm waiting for. Yeah, I want you guys to see how how fast Templar is, and I would also um, I would also want to take you through the leverage because the next part of uh, today's video is going to be talking about the leverage, and I need you to in, to know what you're getting yourself into. You know, to, because we need to to talk about risk management before you even start getting the money and uh, knowing what leverage you're using and how your leverage affects the profit of lo or losses in your account is very important so after that is done uh, let's go back to the meta trader for so that we can know how we are going to be executing our orders now uh, as you can see just look at the topmost pair which is the euro usd that's the Euro european rand and the us dollar it means that the bid price which is the first price is at 1.987 and there's a micro lot there's a micro pip that keeps changing at the far end looks like a, a power and the ask price is 1.9884 as at now now as you see the market is changing that means the currencies of the euro, euro run because that's what we are selling to the dollar is changing part time this is what i keep this is what i mean when i keep saying we are trading the live market the market is changing by the second it it's it's something that's moving every time because this is a stock market let's open this market and see how it goes now um the the, the buying price of the of the euro run first of all when you have two pairs as we had said this earlier in our in, in our basics in forex video which i'm going to link up there what we had said earlier is uh, every currency the first currency is the first currency is usually compared to the second currency and it means that one unit of the first currency has got a number of 
uh, has got value from the second currency. So in the, in our case here is one unit of the euro rand is selling at one point one nine eight eight seven from the euro euro dollar. So that means what that means is assuming I want to place an order with this with this market right now. I'll be selling one dollar for this amount equal to the US dollar that is on the right of the screen if you can see this. Yeah. So what that means is in case the value goes down, I'm going to make a profit if I had sold. If in case the value goes up, I'm going to make a profit if I had bought. So if I buy instead of selling at a particular time, I'm going to be making a, a, a loss. And if I was supposed to buy an SL, I'm going to be also making a loss. Now, how you, you go about this, this is how the, the platform looks like. The indicators here, the stochastic and the MACD, you can see down on the screen. I'm going to be talking about them later in another video. So right for now, let's just look at the first quarter, the first third of the screen. Now, if you want to place an order, you'll come to the, far, the, the, the farthest right of your screen. On the top, there's a plus sign, which is that. And then now, here is where I can change my lot size. As you can see, my lot size is at 0 0.01. But I do not want to trade with a, with a nano lot. I want to do a macro lot. Normally, I do a macro lot. Or even a micro. I can do a micro. Let's say we do a micro. So, the micro we are using here is 0 0.1. So, I can either buy at the bottom of your screen you can see on the left is sell and on the right is buy i can either buy or sell depending on what analysis i've done on this market so when you, i place a buy order the market buy goes up and sell goes down and as you come back here buy is the white candle candlestick and the sell is the black candlestick the sell ones go down the buy ones go up and the sell ones are the ones we said are called bearish and the buy ones the ones the white ones are called bullish the ones that go up so yes when you want to make an order i will come either buy or sell depending on how i see the market so you can see the market now there's also something else i need to explain in the market in the forex market there's a time icon on the farthest uh, top of your screen if you click on it there is m1 m5 m15 m30 h1 h4 d1 w1 and mn all these are time frames and the first one is m1 that means that there's a one candlestick being formed every minute let's open that this means that every minute there's a new candlestick a new candlestick that forms the second one is the m5 m5 means that every five minutes there's a new candlestick being formed m15 means that every 15 minutes there's a new candlestick being formed and so on and so forth so even m30 that means every 30 minutes there's a candlestick being formed every one hour every four hours every day every week and every month so it's important for you I, I tell my students that when you're analyzing the market you use the long time frame so normally for me i will use the day frame or the week i'll use from four hours one day and one week to do my analysis but when you when you're opening a trade now you've already done your analysis and now you want to open the trade according to what you analyzed you open a trade using the short time frames normally for me it's m15 so when i'm opening an order my, my time frame is going to be at 15 minutes that is a bit more real time than opening an order when your time frame is at one hour because that means there's a lot that can change within an hour so that is why i, I, I prefer to use the short time frame to open the trade but the long time frame time frame to analyze the reason as to why i use the long time frames to analyze is because uh, i am both a fundamental and technical analyzer and for the technical purposes we use trends of the market so the a, a higher time frame will show you how the market has been operating for longer periods compared to using a short time frame that only shows you real time it's also important to know how the market has been for the week, how it has been for the day, or even for the last, let's say, four hours, so that you know how to, to go about it. Yes, so that is where I'm coming from. Now, there's also something else I need to, to, to say. Out of the five icons on the topmost of your screen, there's the one which shows the controls. This is what you use to, to, to when you want to know that, when you're calculating your pips and you want to know what, the exact position of the market the second one is the functions functions is where you you put your settings of the metatrader for my personal students i do that for them but for you 
it's important for you to do research so you know the the, the lines that you're seeing on the screen you can know what they, they are equal to and how they operate in your particular setup so it's important for you now the, the other icon is the dollar sign it shows the k kinds of pairs there are the kinds of market there are in the in the in the market sorry the kinds of pairs there are in the market so you can click on whichever you want to open like i love the gbp usd it's quite volatile so i don't trade with it as often only when i'm so sure of trades but yes this is how you you just like link touch the the pair you want to open yeah the other one is what i just explained about the time frames and the, the last one is where you, you place your orders this is where you also change your lot size as you can see on the screen it you can change that or reduce that and it's also where you execute your orders that is how metatrader works and that is for both live and demo the only difference between live and demo is that live you can withdraw your profits but demo you can't so guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and you learned a lot. If you did, leave me a comment. Let me know what you what you know now that you didn't before. Let me also know what you did not understand and what you want to see in this channel. What other lessons you want to learn from this channel. Now, uh, don't forget to subscribe to the to, to the beauty in forex and to make the world a better place where you are with what you have. Looking forward to seeing you in my other video.